Hi, I'm Corey Willie. I teach a class called Changing Our World in Grade 8. Uh, on this particular lesson, we had just finished a bit of a unit on human well-being and the science of happiness. And what I wanted to do with the river activity is have them see what would happen if we only focused on human well-being and show them that the problems that we face are more holistic than that. There are economic aspects of those problems, societal aspects and nature aspects, as well as the well-being aspect of problems. Um, so it was a nice way to transition into the topic of sustainability. And then from there, they applied their understanding of sustainability to look at issues they'd be looking at during their classroom without walls trip in February. The triangle game. So how did you use the triangle game? So the triangle game was just a way to demonstrate how things are, processes are interconnected and systems are interconnected. And there were, if, if you take a look at the, their river diagram, you'll see that if we um, don't think about the whole system, then we run into a lot of unintended consequences. First off, the people who brought up their sheets, can we just go through and kind of explain your rationale for creating this village that supports human well-being? Like in the happy video, the... Co-housing, yeah, yeah co-housing co communities, I think they're called. Yeah, and then these are just regular houses, and that's where people can play sports, like, craft and play around. And here is a field where people can meet... What do you want to say? That? Oh, well, like, we just... We wanted to design a space where people could get together and throw like parties and stuff, and we didn't think a building would be sufficient enough, so we decided it should be a field. It's a field, like they sometimes we call that a mall, not like a shopping mall, but a like, great green space. What I was thinking is here, it would probably help traffic. And happiness in your own village, but we have some work to go before the city together supports human happiness. Right, it supports human yeah. well-being. Okay. Anyone else want to add something that wasn't mentioned? Observation, yeah. Like the hospital. Sorry, Marley, you're too far oh, away. The hospital has no way to get. Like you have to walk there and like if you're giving birth. You're <laughs> gonna make it. That's a good point because yeah. we can use what electric cars here, only bikes here. <laughs> The system triangle game is a simple kinesthetic group activity in which each person in the group plays a system element. It's best played in a, a space which is open enough to allow movement of a group of say 20 people, but it can be played with more than that or slightly less than that. Essentially the instructions that you need to give are for each person in the group to identify two other people without telling them. And that you tell them they, once the game has started, must maintain an equilateral triangle with those two other people. But of course, each of the people within your group, or the system elements, they don't know who they're connected to, or who connects to them, rather. And so as they move to form the equilateral triangle, what they find is their movements lead to lots of other movements. And so they learn about interdependence, about feedback, and about the way in which systems functions in, in, in some system dynamics. Right, if one road 
doesn't have an outlet, then it screws up traffic for the entire city, right? Yeah? Yeah, and like everybody did, like started alone, and also when you made our things, we made them alone. So then suddenly when you try to put them together, even if we're all trying to like make it a happy place, or like all make the triangle, even if you're like trying to make a triangle with the same people, like it didn't really work out that well. And you know what you guys are starting to do? You're starting, I can tell already, you're starting to think like systems thinkers, right? If you want to solve big problems, they're reliant on many different systems. Think about poverty, right? What other systems are involved with just that concept of poverty? Like I could solve poverty for like one kid, right? But if I want to solve the problem on a big scale, what kind, what systems are interconnecting, as Sana said, to contribute to the problem of poverty? Okay, so let's talk about like something about like money income and economy. So if Marley was like part of the system and everyone was working together to get more money, and an example, Marley was the, the stocks, and they went down. Everything would be affected. affected. It's a ripple effect. Yeah, if Marley, like, if Marley was the stock market, and she was to like fall down, and, like all the stocks went down, and everyone like, bought stocks, <laughs> then like, no, everyone would be poor again. So okay, like, so the stock market's impossible. Affected. The stock market crashes, for example, there'll be a lot of unemployment. People, yes. more people. Uh, so so it would be like impossible to get like make it to have people live, come out of poverty. Like, you can't make anything. I connected because on each page for each group we were trying to reach our goals and that's what you were trying to do out there but then when you put it all together it just doesn't work out because you all have like different goals and so you can't all reach them.